What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person yes. Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as, as always, is my blood, Mikey. What's going on? How's it going out there, Christian? It's doing good. Guys, as you could tell, yeah. we're doing something a little different. We're doing a Game of Thrones yes. video, number one. Number two, we're going to do a little video on reunions for season seven. Mike and I were, were uh, just shooting the breeze, talking about who we wanted to see, like, oh, I can't wait for so-and-so to come meet so-and-so or them to get together. And so we're like, you know what? We need to do a video about this. We need to present it to you guys. And we want to hear, you know, uh, your opinion as well. So yes. having said all that, Mikey, why don't we just get into it? Uh, why yes, don't you sir. go ahead? And uh, we kind of worked it out where we each have like our top three. We have like our top three and reunions. then maybe some honorable mentions we can we can uh, say at the yeah, end. So let's do our top three you first, then me, and then we'll go to honorable mentions after. Yes, sir. Sounds um, good. All right, what do you got? <laughs> All right, yeah. So obviously, if you watch our channel, you know that uh, we're a big Stark, pro Stark uh, family here on Third Person. So uh, we narrowed it down to a few, like Chris said. And my first um, and one of the most uh, anticipated reunions, of course, is John and Arya for me. Um, I'm sure a lot of you would agree. I know that from uh, way back in season one, we we know that John and Arya had, uh, you know, a, a great bond. Um, and from season six, when John and Sansa reunited for me, that was huge. It was an emotional um, part of the episode, and we really didn't um, get so much love between the two. They even mentioned it in the show um, how they were always fighting and how Sansa treated John. Uh, terrible. So I can imagine what a great um, reunion that would be. So that's my number one, John and Arya. Right. Um, yeah, it would be cool too uh, for John to see Arya with Needle again, you know, since obviously he gifted that to her. Yeah. Uh, number two, I have Arya and Nymeria. Um, Nymeria, of course, was um, banished away by Arya after she bit. Um, Prince Joffrey, yeah. or was he king at the time? No, he was prince. No, he was prince still. That's right, because obviously Robert. Uh, yes, so from the books, now me and Chris went back and forth a little bit. He seems to remember that they did mention a wolf pack running around uh, in the in the show. Um, I don't remember that exactly, so maybe you guys But now you didn't read the know. books, though. No, but I know from right. You know that from the books. And stuff I read the books, and it might have been, but I, I, I listened to them on audio. Yeah. So, so, so. That could be why well, I feel would, like they said. I I thought that they said that yeah. they did. Well, let um, us know in your comments if you guys if they uh, mentioned it in the show sure. as well as as the know. books. But I we know in the books that um, there is uh, a large wolf uh, heading, pack. Uh, you know, leading a pack of many, maybe even hundreds of of regular wolves. Um, so we're we're hoping that's Nymeria. I'm hoping that we see that we see that in this show. Obviously, mm -hmm. we only know of Ghost um, being being uh, left as of yet. So that would be really sweet, and obviously, there would be a big asset to the coming war with the White Walkers and all that. That would be just a, how cool of a scene would that be, dude? That'd be that'd be great, right? All these wolves just charging, and we know that there'll be less episodes, so more budget per episode. So fucking give it to us. Yeah, all seriously. Right? So yeah, so Arya and Nymeria. Um, and last for my top three would be Danny and John. Now, obviously, we know for the most part that they are related, that, that Danny is John's aunt um, with the R plus L equals J thing. Um, will they will they possibly marry? Um, maybe a little strange, but we know in the past Targaryens tend to marry between the, uh, you know, cousins family, and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff to keep those lines pure. But they are two of the most powerful people in Westeros, obviously for, for Danny now that she is in Westeros. And we also know that she did mention to Dario back in season six that uh, she may, you know, she'll have to marry someone. So that would kind of be cool, even though they. Well, are I think related. that was always the plan. I think she was yeah. always considered, you know, because oh, oddly enough, she still feels she needs to uphold the tra traditions of her homeland. I guess yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, you want to do the honorable mentions together. Yeah, so let me we'll do my let me so do hit let me do my three. top three. My top three, like your top, your first one. My first one is the same, Arya and John. But I wrote Arya, okay. John, and Sansa because Sansa is with John, so you yes. can't leave that out. So it's essentially minus Bran. It's a you mm -hmm. know it's a it's a slow coming together of these of the Starks. So John and Sansa are together. 
Um, I mean, right now they are. We don't know if they're going to branch off or split up, but right now they are. So I want to see Arya, John, and Sansa get together. Yeah. Uh, you know, same reason as you. I just, I just, you know, at the end of season six, we really got to win for the Starks, for the good guys in general, but Finally, really for right? the Starks. <laughs> you know, um, a little, a little revenge. Yeah. So, so I definitely want to see those. That's that's yes. my top. Second one is Danny and John. Now, Danny and John aren't really yeah. a reunion. You know, it's it's more of a meeting. That's true. That's true. So, but I definitely want to see that. Will they marry? I don't. I don't know about that. I'm I'm not I'm not sold on whether they're going to marry or not because technically, John was brought up to hate the Targaryens, and not to say that things can't change. I mean, the man died, came back to life. So I don't, I don't That's think true. they're going to marry. In my mind, I don't not. think they're going to marry. You know, and this is and, and they this, have other things to worry about. So and, they might not even get to that point. I yeah, mean, like I don't think John's and, worried about that yeah. at all. He's winter is here, okay? Yeah, and he's and he's and he's coming. He he's got to prepare for that. He don't give a crap about the the, the seven kingdoms or the Iron Throne. Yeah. That's not what he's about. He wants to protect his land, and then he'll worry about that stuff. Uh, mm. Side note: There's a funny meme of. It was a drawing of the the White Walker King, right? Mm. That guy, and he had a name tag, and it says Winter on it. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Uh, my third, yes. my third one is gonna be Tyrion and Jaime. Okay. Uh, last last we saw them, Jaime let Tyrion out of his prison cell, and they and he killed their father. Yes, so, and let him go. And let him go. Yeah. So I'm I'm. I'm really curious because Jamie and Tyrion's relationship is one of my favorites on the show. So yes. I'm really looking forward to seeing those those guys come together. So those are our top three. Yes. Um, what about what do you, you want to do? Um, well, I put I put Tyrion and Jamie as one of my honorable mentions right off the bat. Um, it would be very interesting to to uh, to see them reunite, right. and it would be interesting to see how they're going to play. How Jamie will feel about Cersei. Obviously, we know that Tyrion and Cersei do not. Uh, you know, they tend to butt heads. Uh, I'm sure they tried to kill each other multiple times. So it's just funny because obviously, in the end, we know the relationship between Jamie and Cersei. So that would be a, a big, big conflict to see. Jamie in the middle of those two, right. you know, um, I put John and Tyrion. They always had that, um, that, uh, kind of, um, similarity where they were both bastards. And when, when Tyrion came to Winterfell in the first season, when, uh, Robert was telling Ned that he needs him to be the hand and all that, we saw that, um, that one quote where, uh, um, they were all eating, and Tyrion was walking about Winterfell, and John was out there fighting, practicing fighting, or whatever it was, and mm -hmm. and he said, "You're not you always, so you're the bastard." I wanted to see the bastard, and, mm -hmm. and John had said to Tyrion, um, "What do you know about being a bastard?" And he's like, "I'm a you know I'm a I'm a, I'm a dwarf or whatever." He said, "I forgot the exact yeah, word." Yeah, he's yeah. like, "We're all bastards in our father eye, father's That's eyes." That, yeah. So you know, and obviously there's some there's some likeness to Tyrion because he also did give the plans uh, for Bran to uh, you know get his. Yep. Uh, his saddle and all that kind of stuff. So I love Tyrion. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, hold on. Let me cut yes. you off, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one in here now. Okay. Let's do. I want to see uh, Arya and the Hound. I was just gonna say that. Yep. I agree. Yes. What do I you? I figured. Have? I figured I'd break it up, and I'll jump in here with a couple. <laughs> yeah, no, Arya and the Hound. Um, obviously, she said the next time mm -hmm. I see you, I'll kill. Well, she left him for dead. She left. She him thought for he dead. was gonna die. So mm -hmm. obviously, you know. Let me ask you this: Do you mm -hmm. think the Hound holds a grudge for that? He may hold a grudge. I think he'll respect it in a way. Um, but remember, Ari did say she took him off the list. Yeah. So I mean, so, I think I think that could be that could be. Fun. There's a there's a found respect, and we saw it. That was that was. Um, I I might say that I enjoyed the Hound Aria time traveling, um, more than the Faceless Men Aria thing. Yeah, me too. You know what I mean? Because that they, was there, was a, there was a playfulness. Uh, back and forth with the yeah. two of them, you know, and obviously they they do have a respect for each other. Um, the Hound did mention how he saved Sansa from being raped mm -hmm. um, back in in uh, King's Landing. So yeah, I, I'm uh, wholeheartedly agree. Um, that would be a really cool yeah. uh, reunion. Uh, another one I, I that I'll just throw in here is Sam and John. I think we'll see that. You know, I think we'll see that. It's think, been a while. Yeah, I think I'd like to see that uh, because it's just you know, 
yeah. lot's changed. A lot's happened to John since Sam has been gone. Yeah. Yeah. So So that that's interesting. And John and and Sam also, you know, like a, a, I mean oh, not as yeah. much obviously, no, not as, as crazy as But but John, he'll but... be able to explain what he's learned and he's been to the Citadel now and it's Yeah. I mean they both have a lot to tell each other. Yeah, so I think that's going to be a good one. Uh you mentioned Cersei and Tyrion. Yeah. Uh what what else you got? Anything else? Um really the only other the last I have is this just this, the whole Stark family. Um, reunion. General, yeah. I, I mean, if 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 they just put Bran and Arya and Sansa and John all together, do we uh, know Rickon's it, dead? Uh, they John knows that Rickon's dead. I don't. Oh, think Bran. Would oh, know, wait. Yeah, and Sansa knows. Sansa knows. I totally forgot. So the only one I forgot he died at the end. I forgot he died at the end of six. Never mind. She heard from here to there. Um, would yeah. be Arya that wouldn't know. Right. He died at the battle. Know. Right. He was killed. Remember, uh, uh, Ramsey let him let him run, run and then, yeah, towards did, yeah. John, and and yeah. he purposely missed like a fuck with the arrows until that last. You know, you just thought because I remember watching that scene. Not to go off, you know, on a tangent, but I remember watching that scene and and just like, come on, get him, come on, John, grab him, grab him, grab him. And just as John was a grasp or two uh, out of reach, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Rick on, Rick on got it. So, yeah. yeah, just an overall. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to see necessarily all of them because through some leaked images and things like that, and, and uh, you know, the most recent images that HBO put out, we um, we're not. I think John will most likely be gone dealing with the whole Danny and letting everybody else know um, about the war to come and the winter yeah. and winter coming. That uh, they might not bump into each other right right now in this season, but who knows. Who knows? Uh, yeah, but yeah. I, I I agree though. I agree. That's that's yeah. an overall. I'm hoping that they all survive to meet up. Uh, I I think we I think we're probably about ninety five percent of the probability. Yeah. Uh, that we'll see that. Um. All right. Anything else? I think. I mean. I think we're good for for that. I mean, obviously, guys, let us know who you feel would be uh you know the most hopeful reunions in your eyes. Um. Like I said earlier, we're big Stark guys, right? You know, Chris, yep. we're, we're we're fucking Stark we're fans. Star, we're Stark. We're Stark. We're we're Stark heads. Pro Stark. Pro yeah. Stark. Yeah. Um. So you know, just let us know, and obviously, you can do that by checking us out on YouTube. And checking us out as well on Facebook at Third Person Pod and Instagram at Third Person Pod. You can listen to this on iTunes. And uh, yeah, just let us know. We love getting the comments and everything from you guys. Yep. Uh, so I think that's going to do it for us. I'm not going to yeah. plug anything. You guys look down below. You guys... <laughs> Why not? Check it out. Retrosquat.com. You know, check out Chris's <laughs> other podcast. His cool 80s mashup uh, themed podcast. Check that out. And uh, don't forget about Comic Blitz. What is that? Three months by uh, three months for a dollar a month by using our promo code Third Person Pod. Check it yep. out if you like reading comments. There's a whole shitload on that site comics, for you to comics, check out. Not comments. comments. <laughs> you what said I, reading I said. comments. <laughs> Read the comments, did I? Yeah, you said right. if you like reading comments, check out if this, you like this comments, promo. Right, see that? That just goes to show how much we love yeah. reading. Yeah, I know. So check it out. <laughs> check it out this whole crap load shit load of comics on that site comicblitz.com third yeah. person check it out promo. that's it guys thank you for watching this game of thrones reunions video uh stay tuned because we have a couple more uh we got some more game of thrones video coming coming before game of thrones actually starts and then we're gonna that's right game we're of gonna thrones get week, our coverage baby. going on there week. yep uh also just so you guys know uh mike is actually going over to Croatia, and I'll be in Ireland, Ireland. Um, yeah. when it airs. So I'm gonna definitely have a whole crap load of footage. I'm he's gonna going try to do a little like little travel vlog thing. Yeah, and I'm he's gonna, gonna be doing some winter. Uh, you're some, gonna go to the, you're gonna tours. go to locations, right? I'm gonna I'm supposedly uh, gonna go to uh, King's Landing. I'm gonna go to the to the uh, place where Cersei had her shame. Uh, oh, okay, scenes. Cool. I'm gonna go to the Weirwood Tree where Ned has been, and every really everybody has been in, in Winterfell. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna take a bunch of a crap load of of footage. So I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff too. So you're gonna be, be getting cool. there. Yeah, that's gonna yeah. be fun. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, so uh, again, more stuff coming for Game of Thrones. Thank you very much, guys. We love you, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Peace.